we are going to talk about a TD. What is a TD? Mechanics for non-mechanics. TD stands for temperature difference, okay? And what that is is a difference across your evaporator coil. So across your evaporator coil, that means there's air, right, that's going up your filter, okay? Your filter that you're supposed to change once a month, right? Um, there's air going up that filter, and then, of course, it's coming out your supply registers, okay? Your vents, you feel it, and it's cold, right? It's going up the, uh, it's going up the return register at a certain temperature, and it's going out your supply registers to cool your house at another temperature. Well, that is called the TD, the difference in temperature between the air going up your return and the air that's coming out your supply vents. That's the TD. Now, you want about a 17 to 20 degree temperature difference in most cases. Some people say 15 to 20, but generally a 17 to 20 degree difference is what we at Adams Cooling look for. Um, now, if, you, if it's too much more than that, some people might think, oh, well, let me have a 21 or a 22 degree difference so that the air is coming out much colder. Well, that's not actually good because that means that the air is sitting in your ducts too long, okay, and it's not getting out enough. So the re some, some reasons that can happen is if you have a dirty coil or a dirty filter, that air is not able to get up there and out um, dispersed to, through your registers fast enough. So it's just sitting there and getting colder and colder. Well, that can actually cause your coil to freeze up, uh, which we have other videos on, and it can also cause that environment to be super moist and actually cause mold to begin to grow. So 17 to 20 degrees. If it's not like 17 or 15 to 17, then that means that you're not getting a, a cold enough air coming out your supply registers. You probably have low on you're probably low on freon or you know some other issue there. But you wanted to, to be about a 17 to 20 degree difference. Now the best thermometers you'll see here this picture. This is the best thermometer. This is what we use in the field, and we actually put it across the evaporator coil from one duct from one side of your duct to the other side of your duct. Hey guys, so I just want to explain this in a little more detail. So here we have our air handler. The evaporator coil is in the behind the panel, okay? That's the evaporator coil. And it connects, you can see it's connecting to these two copper lines that go outside. The return side, which is your filter side, in most cases is going to come up on the side of your coil okay so if your coils here okay basically your coils here your blower motors on that side in most applications okay so you have your coil here on this side and your blower motor on that side now in most cases the evaporator coil is going to be on the return side which is your filter side so this is where your filters your filters inside it comes up through the ductwork and comes here and it's sucking okay your your motor over there is pulling that air from your return side and pushing it out your supply side which feeds your house feeds the supply vents in your house okay so we have our evaporator coil. So that's how we know that this is the return side. The return side is always going to be the side that has the higher temperature. So that's a, another way you know which side is the return and which is the supply. So the return side, again, is being fed through your filter. So it's gonna be like room temperature. And the supply side will be about 17 to 20 degrees colder than room temperature. On some train products, they actually have it the reversal, and I'm sure there's other manufacturers that have it the reverse, but in most cases, the coil is on the return side. So if I just walk up to this thing and I see the coil and the copper lines on this side of the air handler, I know that the return is on this side, but that's not always the case. But all we're looking for is the difference in temperature between this side of the coil and the other side of the coil, which is over here. Now these boxes are called plenums, okay? So these plenums, and this is your air handler. Your air handler may be in the attic, it may be in a closet, 
or in this case it may be hanging in the garage. So this is our supply side plenum. The ductwork connects to these boxes or plenums and feeds the house. The return side, um, this is our return side plenum, okay? And there's, and your return side filter, the, where you have your filter at, that has a, a duct that connects to it and comes here. So the, so the air handler is, the blower motor there in the air handler is pulling air from the return side to the supply side and the difference between those two sides should be about 17 to 20 degrees. And I have my uh, thermometer here. So I would stick it in one side, okay? Stick it right in the duct, boom, okay? And we would, you know, get a temperature on this side and then, and, and this is the plenum, I'm sorry. And then we, we would go to the supply side plenum and stick it in this side. So that's why if you look at your plenums, a lot of times you'll see a little hole where the AC technician has done that. And those holes are not that big a deal. Some people like to put a little tape over it, uh, but it's a very small part that it's actually sucking in. So if you want, you can put a piece of silver tape over it or duct tape over it to cover it up. Okay, let's finish out this video. Some um, inspectors will actually use a uh, infrared thermometer. And these are good too, and you can use them and just shine them up here at your uh, return register, and then you can shine them at one of your supply registers, and you should, again, have about a 17 to 20 degree difference. However, um, Sometimes one part of that register is a little bit colder than another part, so you can get into problems with that. So I would just use one of these thermometers. You can pick them up probably at your local Lowe's or Home Depot, and you just stick it up there, and that'll give you the most accurate um, and precise measurements. So again, this is a way that you can know whether uh, your system is operating properly. Now, there are some caveats to that. If you have a dirty coil, again, you're actually going to get more, it's going to throw off the, t the TD. Or if you have a dirty filter, um, it's going to throw off the TD. So as long as your filter is clean, as long as your coil is clean, then the TD is a great way to tell you how your system is operating. And again, you want about a 17 to 20 degree difference between the air going up your return and the air coming out your supply registers. Mm -hmm.